today we're going to be learning about artist Claude Monet and his water lily paintings. Let's start off by talking about water lilies. So a water lily is a type of flower that grows on a lily pad or near a lily pad. And if you notice, they're very bright colors and the petals kind of grow up towards the sun off of the lily pad. And they can come in all different shades, purples and pinks. And there are even white water lilies. Now, a lily pad is a type of plant with leaves that grow on top of the water and usually that water is still so it's not moving a whole lot and of course frogs love to hang out on lily pads so let's watch this quick video of a frog on a lily pad so here's the frog he's hanging out the oval shapes that are pointing up are actually going to be water lilies they just haven't bloomed yet and there's our friend the frog He's just chilling on the round green lily pad. I think he's pretty cute. And let's watch and see what he does. He's still hanging out. Nope, oh, there he's starting to go. Oh, and he's off into the water of the pond. Okay, let's keep going along. Now let's talk about our artist, Claude Monet. Claude Monet was a painter from France and he had a beautiful house out in the country that had a big pond. So there was a bridge over the pond and there were tons and tons of water lilies growing in the pond. And if you visit his house in France today, you can still see the bridge and you can still see the pond with all of the lily pads and water lilies. Here's a picture of the artist and he's standing outside at his house and you can even see a bridge way in the back behind him. Here he is outside working on a painting. If you can see, look carefully, he's sitting in a chair under a big umbrella for shade and then he's painting the lily pads. I can see the oval shapes of the lily pads on his canvas. And not all of his paintings were that small. Some of his paintings were really, really big, even taller than Claude Monet. So now let's check out some of Claude Monet's paintings. So this is one that I've actually seen in real life. I was at a museum in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I walked into a room and this painting is absolutely massive. It covers many walls. And if you look carefully, you'll see the lily pads and you'll see a couple of water lilies. And you'll also see all the reflections in the pond. So I can see the clouds that are reflecting from the sky, darker areas where trees might be covering water. And of course, blue from the water. And this is probably one of his most famous paintings where he painted the bridge that we saw earlier and all of the water lilies and lily pads on the water underneath the bridge. Monet was what is called an impressionist, which means he's not painting things exactly perfectly. He painted his artwork so you got the impression or the main idea of what something looked like. So here, even though the circles aren't quite perfect and the ovals aren't quite perfect, we can still tell it's lily pads floating on water. And let's look at just a couple more of his paintings. He would paint his pond over and over and over again. So there were many paintings created by Claude Monet of the same things, but each one looks a little different depending on where he painted and what time of day he painted the water lilies. And here's just one more to look at. I love this one because it has the willow tree leaves hanging down and there's straight curvy lines. And then there's water lilies at the very bottom. So thanks for learning a little bit about Monet's water lilies with me. Now you're ready to paint your own water lilies.